Yo, 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 what's happening? What's going on? Jeremy Rubin, the friendly flipper here with you. Come on in, come on in. Join the party. Join the party. It's a beautiful Friday out here on the way to the gym. Taking a lovely stroll here. And I want to talk about something real quick. I want to tell you something. Come on in. Jump on in here. This is important. It's important to know. Because until I knew this, until I understood this, I was stuck. And I see a lot of people that are stuck. Come on in, what's up everybody? Jeremy Rubin, the friendly flipper here, coming at you live on a Friday from beautiful Santa Maria, California. The sun is shining. What's up, hello Boise? What's going on? What's happening? What's up Sawyer? What's up? So this one thing held me back. What's up Chevy? What's up Jeremy? <laughs> What's up, Tracy? What's happening, everybody? Come on in, come on in. So, I see this, I see this a lot, and I, it affected me. It affected me and my personal growth for a long time until I understood it, until I got it, until I came up with a way to get over it. And here's the thing. I see so many people <clears throat> on, at so many different levels, too that are stuck and they're not happy with where they're at. And if you're not happy with where you're at, you want to improve, but something's keeping you and holding you back from making those choices to improve. And what I found that it is most, the, the biggest thing that holds you back is you're waiting for permission. You're waiting for someone to tell you, okay, go ahead and do that. You're waiting for someone to give you the go ahead, the green light, and get to be able to make the changes, to be able to make the improvements. Because you're scared, you're afraid of what other people are thinking. What other people might think, what if, you, what if this person changes? It's that fear that's holding you back in your head, all those what ifs. What up Mike Chavez? What up Shanaz, what up Nina? It's that fear that's holding you back. You wanna make the change. You wanna move forward. You wanna improve yourself. But there's that self-consciousness of what are the people gonna think that know me? That know the old me? That know the person I was before? And what are the, you know, can I still hang around with them? Is it gonna be weird? You're gonna start, you have all of these thoughts that hold you back and what you ultimately got to do to get over that and get through that is just give yourself permission. You can't wait for anybody else to give you permission because they're not going to give you permission. They don't care. They're not going to give you permission. They don't even know. They're not even thinking what you're thinking about. And they might not even encourage, for, you know, a lot of the times they might not even encourage your mission or your growth or your journey. So you just got to you just got to do this one thing. You got to give yourself permission to go for it and do it. Easier than it sounds. Easier said than done. Why? Because it's tough. We're human. It means getting uncomfortable and changing your environment entirely. It means getting rid of old friends, old habits. Stop, you know, hanging around. Probably a lot, big common thing, stop drinking. A lot of people that I know that have gone through the self-development progression that's a common thing stop drinking stop partying stop start paying more attention to your personal health these things incrementally start to improve you but if you're waiting for somebody to tell you to go do it I'm telling you to go do it right now go do it and if you're waiting for someone to give you permission I give you permission but you need to give yourself permission but the biggest thing beyond that that is common with so many successful people that I see, this common one common trait is that they have no fear of loss. They have no fear of loss. They've gotten rid of this fear of loss and this fear of attachment, not only to personal possessions, because they understand its mindset, but also to the fear of loss of old relationships. You have to be willing to let go of old relationships and it hurts sometimes but it's part of your personal journey and then you have to ask yourself if you aren't growing and you aren't getting better because of an old relationship of an old tie of old habits 
bad habits, things that the old you used to do, and you think you're gonna be judged for giving those things up, yeah, you're gonna be judged. But that doesn't matter. You're working on your journey. Everybody else's journey doesn't matter, and if you're improving yourself, you're improving other people's journey. You're setting a positive example. You're setting the counterculture to who the people you used to associate with or the groups, the, thing, the habits that you used to have. The only way change happens is if you, you make that change and then that will trickle down. You have to be the strong one. You can't wait for that permission. You can't wait for someone to give you the go ahead. You gotta go for it. What are you waiting for? Every day passes by and you're either stuck in the same place or you're moving forward and getting better. Stop waiting for permission. I give you permission, but more importantly, give yourself permission and stop caring about what other people will think. Stop caring, let it go. It does not matter what people will think of you. They're not paying your bills for one thing, but you're getting better. And if you're improving yourself, the people around you are gonna improve. Let's get after it. You're either growing or dying. That's the way it is. You got big goals. Get after it this weekend. It's Friday. I hope you're looking forward to what you're doing this weekend and powering through and taking advantage of the time and making the most of your life every day. This is Jeremy Rubin, the Friendly Flipper, signing off. Much love.